The decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, is exothermic. Now if you look carefully at this reaction, what can you determine about the structure of H2O2 simply knowing that that reaction is exothermic? Will the structure of peroxide look like this, like this, or like this? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, HO bonds are equal on both sides, and the bond energy for one mole of O single broken is less than half a mole of O double bonds formed. Or B, double bonded O is the only way to make the correct Lewis structure. Or C, C is the closest structure to water, and water is formed as a product. So think about those three explanations and make a selection. We're talking about the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen. Now, when this happens, I have to break two HO bonds and form two HO bonds. That occurs regardless of which structure I'm talking about. And that would be a wash, breaking two bonds and forming two bonds. So energetically, that doesn't tell us anything about whether this reaction is endothermic or exothermic. What about the oxygen bond? On this side, I'm forming oxygen gas, so O2 double bonded. And I form half a mole of those. On this side, I have to break a mole of oxygen-oxygen bonds. The question is, are they double bonds or single bonds? Well, if they're a mole of double bonds, then breaking a whole mole of double bonds but forming half a mole, that reaction would definitely be endothermic. And we know it's not endothermic. So we can already rule out C and B. Now, what about if it's a single bond? If it's a single bond, it'll be exothermic as long as half a mole of double bonds has more energy than a whole mole of single bonds. That is, the double bonds have to be more than twice as energetically stable as the single bonds. So let's look at our table. Here we have the oxygen-oxygen single bond, the oxygen-oxygen double bond, and indeed the double bond is more than twice as strong as the single bond. So that will give us a net exothermic reaction, and the correct answer here is A, the single bonded structure.